some point in early 86, uh, I had to do an intermediate progress report on, for some funding for some research project. Uh, so I did think uh, through all the uh, ways we had, what we had tried up to then, what possibilities there are. And a couple of weeks later, uh, suddenly occurred, oh, you could perhaps do things differently. Uh, not straightforward as it usual at that time with bit allocation algorithms and uh, doing quantizing, but the other way around. Similar to what was already common in speech coding at that point, uh, analysis by synthesis techniques and the ideas how to apply analysis by synthesis techniques in a completely different way uh, as it was used in speech coding, but the same basic ideas of trying things until they converge to find the optimum result to music coding. And uh, I thought, okay, the combination of this with uh, entropy coding, Huffman coding could perhaps work. I had one week of really late night work to try out whether this uh, idea could actually give some results. And after that one week, uh, I had a very preliminary setup of everything, including training Huffman tables uh, and doing actual coding uh, and got the first music out of it. And uh, it didn't sound too bad, so I wrote a short memo uh, to Professor Seitzer saying, okay, I think there's a new algorithm in the race for high quality audio coding. And in the end, this basic idea is what's still used in MP3, AAC, and a lot of other modern audio codings.